Do you think it's scary using airport Wi-Fi? Is it scary to use airport Wi-Fi to do a bank transaction? The answer is absolutely a yes. Is it scary to use airport Wi-Fi to read the news or watch a Twitter feed, which is already logged in? You're not logging in. It's not scary. Who has seen an advertisement that has convinced you that your microphone is listening to your conversations? Is it a problem if we keep our Bluetooth on or AirDrop on all the time? Bluetooth may, or in fact, Wi-Fi be. Not to scare you a lot, but the reality is that I can hack into your laptop or your computer without you doing anything and without you even being connected to Wi-Fi. Keeping location on all the time on your phones, do you think that's safe? Location being on all the time is not as dangerous as allowing apps to access location all the time. What I want people to know is that everything they're doing online is being watched, is being tracked. Every single action you take is carefully monitored and recorded. What is dark web? Every single user on the internet spends majority of their time only on the dark web. If I ask Ra emails and press an enter on google.com. Will I get to see your inbox? Of course not, no. right? So anything which the internet is not publicly displaying is dark web. And how can it be accessed? A very popular way to do that, there's a browser called the Onion Browser. There's this whole concept around, can you hire an assassin? Can you buy drugs? Can you do all the wrong things there? The short answer is absolutely yes. How do these terrorist organizations run their internet? Our purpose is कि हम इंडिया के हर कोने तक इंडिया के टॉप लोगों का नॉलेज पहुंचा सकें उन्हें लाइफ में आगे बढ़ने में हेल्प कर सकें उन्हें एजुकेट करें और इंस्पायर करें एंड उस मिशन में आप हमारी हेल्प कर सकते हैं इस चैनल को सिर्फ सब्सक्राइब करके क्योंकि आप जितना हमें सब्सक्राइब करेंगे उतने ही ज्यादा लोगों तक हम पहुंचेंगे एंड उतने ही ज्यादा लोगों की हम हेल्प कर पाएंगे तो आगे बढ़ने से पहले राजमानी को सब्सक्राइब कर लीजिए राजमानी क्लिप्स एंड राजमानी शॉर्ट्स को भी सब्सक्राइब कर लीजिए क्योंकि वहां पर हम इस बड़े एपिसोड की छोटी छोटी क्लिप्स डालते हैं ताकि कम समय में आप एक बेहतर इंसान बन सकें एंड इस पूरे एपिसोड का ऑडियो एक्सपीरियंस स्पॉटिफाई पर अवेलेबल है जहां पर आप हमें फॉलो कर सकते हैं इंजॉय द शो If I have to ask you in simple words that who is Saket Modi, आप करते क्या हो एंड जो आप करते हो वो इम्पॉर्टेंट क्यों है हम लोगों के लिए हाउ वुड यू आंसर दैट इन क्विक लाइक थर्टी सेकेंड्स टू टू मिनट्स आई कैन आई कैन डू दाइक two words right okay. <laughs> my definition is very simple i'm a geek and a nerd <laughs> so, <laughs> it's it's as simple as that right aur aap kya karte ho aur wo kyu zaruri hai sabke liye janna uh ya aapke kaam ka importance kya hai karte kya hota kya hai tell us all of that kya karte ho and uska importance kya hai so two dimensions of skills so pehla pehla question jo aap puch rahe ho ki main karta kya hu so uh i'm the founder and ceo of a ai driven cyber security startup uh and uh हम दुनिया की सबसे बड़ी बड़ी कंपनीज के पास जाके उनके साइबर सिक्योरिटी को मैनेज करने के लिए एक प्लेटफॉर्म देते हैं उसे जिसको कहते हैं सेफ ओके सो इट्स कॉल्ड इट्स कॉल्ड सेफ या सो सो सेफ इज द प्लेटफॉर्म व्हिच हेल्प्स द लार्जेस्ट कंपनीज इन द वर्ल्ड सो वेदर इट्स इट्स सो वट वट सेफ डज इन अ वेरी सिंपल वे इज इट बेसिकली विल गो इन टू अ कंपनी and ingest all the telemetry of the existing cybersecurity products within the company can you dumb it down to me and make it easy telemetry uh, is something which i didn't understand sure <laughs> it's sure it's, it's, it's very very simple so uh aap aise socho aap ek whoop band abhi abhi pehen rakhe ho right ye whoop band karta kya hai aapki multiple types of signals from your body को कलेक्ट करता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल आपका टेम्परेचर आपका हार्ट रेट विच इज योर एच आर वी रेट आपका आपका आपके मल्टीपल पैरामीटर्स को वो मॉनिटर करता है कि क्या चीजें चल रही है आपके बॉडी में वो सारे सिग्नल्स को कलेक्ट करके इट बेसिकली थ्रोज इट इनटू एन एल्गोरिदम और आपको ये बताता है कि आपको अपने हेल्थ को मैनेज करने के लिए आज आपको सोना है ज्यादा या आपको वर्कआउट करना है ज्यादा या आपको कुछ खाना है या नहीं खाना है या कितना पानी पीना है एट्सेट्रा 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 सो इट हेल्प्स यू मैनेज योर हेल्थ इन द मोस्ट एफिशिएंट वे पॉसिबल यूजिंग योर टेलीमेट्री फ्रॉम योर बॉडी टेलीमेट्री मतलब सिग्नल्स इन अ वेरी वेरी सिंपल वे एग्जैक्टली द सेम थिंग इज वॉट वी डू 
for the biggest companies on the planet when it comes to their cyber risk. We go to large companies and when we go to large companies, we ingest their cyber security signals. Ko ingest karte hai. And we put all of those signals together into a data science algorithm that we've co-developed with MIT. And that algorithm that we have is what predicts जैसे आपका वूप बैंड ये प्रिडिक्ट करता है आपकी एप्पल वॉच ये प्रिडिक्ट करती है कि आपको आज कितने स्टेप्स लेने हैं या जो भी चीज़ें करनी है एग्जैक्टली exactly उसी तरीके से एक बड़ी कंपनी के लिए वी टेल देम दैट व्हाट आर द साइबर सिक्योरिटी एक्शंस दैट यू नीड टू टेक व्हाट इज़ द क्वान्टिफाइड साइबर सिक्योरिटी रिस्क पॉस्चर दैट द कंपनी इज सिटिंग ऑन एंड इफ अ हैक डज अकर वॉट विल बी द एस्टिमेटेड इम्पैक्ट इन डॉलर टर्म्स और रूपी टर्म्स टू से कि अगर रैनसम वेयर आपकी कंपनी में को हिट करता है इट देर इज़ अ ट्वेल्व परसेंट लाइकलीहुड दैट दिस कैन अकर वाइल द इंडस्ट्री एवरेज इज़ फोर्टीन परसेंट एंड इफ इट डज अकर यू आर लुकिंग एट एन एस्टिमेटेड इम्पैक्ट ऑफ से फिफ्टी मिलियन डॉलर और चार सौ करोड़ रुपए का इम्पैक्ट आपको हो सकता है अगर रैनसम वेयर आपकी कंपनी को हिट करता है और वो वो उसे परसेंटेज को नीचे करने के लिए टू कैट द परसेंटेज डाउन फॉर लाइकलीहुड और लॉस मैग्नीट्यूड हियर आर द फाइव थिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू डू एंड दैट चेंजेस ऑन अ डेली बेसिस बेस्ड ऑन योर सिग्नल्स एंड टेलीमेट्री एंड एक्सटर्नल थ्रेट लैंडस्केप सो आई डोंट नो इफ दैट वाज टू टेक्निकल बट आई गेट इट सो इन बेसिक वर्ड्स इफ आई हैव टू पुट इट अप टेल मी इफ आई एम रॉन्ग और राइट इट्स लाइक आप एक बड़ी कंपनी के जाते हो उनको बोलते हो कि हम आपकी सारी पल्सेस चेक करेंगे सारे सिग्नल्स चेक करेंगे कहाँ से आप डेटा देते हो कंज्यूम करते हो क्या बेचते हो क्या लेते हो कौन से सॉफ्टवेयर यूज़ करते हो एसेट्रा एसेट्रा आप इंटरनेट पे आपकी कंपनी को कितना एक्सपोज करते हो वेदर वो एक छोटी सी व्हाट्सएप चैट है या ई है या आपकी खुद की ऐप है बिल्कुल या कैसा कुछ भी है उन सबको आप कलेक्ट करते हो फिर उसको कलेक्ट करने के बाद बताते हो कि कहाँ कहाँ पर गैप से जहाँ से आपके ऊपर कोई अटैक हो सकता है साइबर mm-hmm. अटैक हो सकता है मतलब आपकी कंपनी में या चोरी हो सकती है या फ्रॉड हो सकता है या आपकी कंपनी को कोई वायरस भेज सकता है वो सब आप बताते हो फिर उन उसके बाद वो सब बताने के बाद आप कंपनीज को ये बताते हो कि ये पाँच तरीके हैं ये पाँच चीज़ें अगर आपने करी तो अगर नॉर्मल डे में आपके दस परसेंट अटैक लेने के ये पाँच चीज़ें करने के बाद छः हो जाएंगे तो आप ये करो राइट इज एट वट यू डू एंड देन उसके बाद डू यू प्रोवाइड द प्रोडक्ट ऑल्सो कि ऐसे आप दस परसेंट से छः परसेंट पर ला सकते हो ही द प्रोडक्ट और यू जस्ट टेल दैट दिस इज वॉट इज गोन हैपन नॉट फिगर इट आउट सो यू आर हंड्रेड परसेंट राइट इनफैक्ट आपने मुझसे काफ़ी अच्छा बेटर काम किया इन एक्सप्लेनिंग वट वी डू सो थैंक यू फॉर दैट राज आई एम गोन यूज सम ऑफ योर लाइन्स सो थैंक्स फॉर दैट वी डोंट प्रोवाइड द एक्चुअल फिक्स ओके जो फिक्स होती है वो आपका इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर जो भी मैनेज कर रही है कंपनी वो हमेशा जाकर क्योंकि हम बताते हैं कि ये चार फिक्सेस करने आपके इस सर्वर पे इस एप्लीकेशन पे जो वो सर्वर मैनेज कर रहे हैं वो उनका काम होता है उसे फिक्स करना सो दैट सो वी आर लाइक डॉक्टर्स वेर वी विल टेल यू कि आप एक जनरल फिजिशियन के पास जाते हैं और वो सारे पल्सेस जैसे आपने बताया लेके वो बताते हैं ओके इट लुक्स लाइक आपको ये 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 बीमारी है और इसको ठीक करने के लिए ये चार चीज़ें आपको करनी पड़ेगी अब आप जाओ मेडिसिन लो और उसको आप लेना शुरू कर दो एंड विल मॉनिटर यू इन अ रेगुलर बेसिस एंड एंड वी गो फॉर योर मोर लाइक डायग्नोस्टिक कि yep. आप डायग्नोस करके बताते हो ये आपकी ब्लड रिपोर्ट है बिल्कुल <laughs> इसमें ये ये कमी है ये कमी है देख लो फिक्स कर लो बिल्कुल अब दो चीज़ें साइबर सिक्योरिटी और साइबर अटैक्स मतलब इंटरनेट पर होने वाले अटैक राइट बहुत सिंपल क्वेश्चन है इंटरनेट होता क्या है मतलब इंटरनेट कहाँ से आता है कहाँ बनता है क्या होती क्या ये चीज़ हमें तो सिर्फ ये पता है कि एक वायर है वो कहीं से कनेक्ट होती है और फिर सबका कनेक्ट हो जाता है दुनिया कनेक्ट लाइक व्हाट इज द बर्थ प्लेस ऑफ इंटरनेट कहाँ से आया है होता क्या है एंड देन हम लोग उसके ऊपर जाएंगे कि थ्रेट क्या होते हैं सो so, सबसे पहली बात इंटरनेट हैज़ बीन अराउंड फॉर मोर देन हाफ अ सेंचुरी राइट इंटरनेट हमेशा हुआ क्या करता था कि आपके पास जब माइक्रो प्रोसेसर हुए करते थे जो कि कुछ पर्टिकुलर काम कर सकते थे एंड दिस इज बिफोर पर्सनल कंप्यूटर्स वो जो जिसे आप अर्ली स्टेज कंप्यूटर्स के बारे में आप बोल सकते हो उन्हें एक दूसरे से बात करने के लिए जो प्रोटोकॉल चाहिए था वहां पे इंटरनेट का जन्म हुआ in a very very simple word and in fact this was originally used by it used to be called arpanet which is the place where this whole thing was born which was in the us army 
क्योंकि देर वर सर्वर्स विच वर डूइंग सम वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ स्टफ विच वर इन डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री एंड इन ऑर्डर टू कनेक्ट दैम एंड पुट सर्टन थिंग्स टूगेदर दैट इज वेयर देर वॉज अ रिक्वायरमेंट क्योंकि दोनों जगह डेटा वॉज बींग स्टोर्ड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बिट्स एंड बाइट्स उसे खाली ट्रांसफर करना था फ्रॉम वन साइड टू दी अदर एंड उसके कारण दैट इज वेयर द इंटरनेट वॉज बॉन्ड विच इज ओरिजिनली कॉल्ड आर्पानेट राइट नाउ फास्ट फॉरवर्ड दैट इंटरनेट रियली बिकेम इंटरनेट वेन द फर्स्ट ब्राउजर विच वॉज नेटस्केप वॉज लॉन्च्ड क्योंकि उसके पहले जो प्रॉब्लम होती थी वो ये थी इनफैक्ट इसके भी अगर मैं थोड़ा सा पहले जाऊँ इंटरनेट वॉज अ लग्जरी और इंटरनेट बन ही नहीं सकता था पॉपुलर जब तक पर्सनल कंप्यूटर्स पॉपुलर नहीं बने क्योंकि इट्स ऑलमोस्ट लाइक दिस राइट उबर तब तक नहीं पॉपुलर बन सकता था जब तक हर फोन पे जीपीएस नहीं आ जाए राइट तो दैट्स अ प्री रेक्विजिट विच वॉज आउट देयर सो इवन बिफोर द इंटरनेट अगर हम पर्सनल कंप्यूटर्स की हिस्ट्री देखते हैं इट वॉज रियली इन दाइनटीन सेवेंटीज इन दाइनटीन एटीज रिमेंबर नाइनटीन late 1970s is where the apple 1 came into the picture apple 2 was early 1980s 1984 the big launch of the macintosh which happened which for the first time ever had the graphical user interface kyunki macintosh ke pehle all of personal computers pata hai kaise hote the black screen जो हमें डॉस पता है आपको या mac pe jo terminal hota hai this is all that computers used to be now why was macintosh that turning moment for the whole world because it truly could become personal aap aise soch ke dekho aap ya aap apne mother ya father ko kya aap kabhi bhi soch sakte ho 10 20 commands sikhaoge dos pe jisse ki wo ek dusre se baat karenge cheeze dekhenge it was never the case the moment it was simplified into a graphical user interface which by the way was not made by apple it was actually taken from xerox and xerox research park had come up with this concept of a mouse and using a mouse you could basically click on a particular screen which was out there hmm. so that was the first time ever that somebody had come out with that and the xerox research park because xerox us time bahut badi company hua karti thi apple was a small company the xerox research research park took, took this to the management of xerox the leadership of xerox to say this can be the future of personal computer and people laughed at that they said are you mad xerox is such a big company do you think it will ever launch a product where something is called a mouse ha your idiot it's go away from here <laughs> right literally this was the case right and today look at xerox and look at apple right when steve jobs saw that the moment he saw it he knew this was it this was the next big leap that he could take from apple 2 to, to macintosh and why is that important kyunki uske karan graphical user interface became very very popular mm. because after macintosh windows copied it and then it went to the ibm pc and then you know basically graphical interface became very very popular after that is where the graphical user interface of the internet so going back to what you were talking about internet used to be super technical now people could actually see and feel the internet thanks to the browser kyunki now they don't have to type complex queries to connect to systems all they had to do was go to a particular protocol at that time say an http simple protocol to say is particular computer pe jao which later on became a website name shuru mein ip addresses hote the but the human brain can't remember enough numbers so there was the whole concept which then 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 came about on how do you convert those ip addresses to names because people can remember names yahoo.com apple.com google.com that we remember very very mm-hmm. easily so that is what basically came into the picture with something called a dns service which is domain name service where it's like a yellow pages directory yeah. which basically has ip addresses and websites that coupled with the website which you could see on a browser which was a netscape browser that is where internet truly became a you know democratic movement because now you can host pages and give information that you wanted at that time there was no e-commerce there was no 
logging in and there was no users there was no inbox that came later inbox tha ek dusre type ka inbox tha but not through the graphical user interface that you would talk about and because it became because of that it became popular it became easy and there was jaise aapne shuru kiya tha na aapne bola tha ki i want to dump it down and make it easy it's actually the most difficult thing to do for anything and i i would i would argue that anything which has truly changed the world only happened when it became super easy Mm -hmm. look at the personal computer with graphical graphical user interface look at the internet with the browser look at more recently uh chat gpt so ai became ai because it became simple yeah for anybody to be able to use it both of these things usually are like very very related right the more the internet will grow more the crime will grow in cyber fraud and everything and then the more the need of what you're doing will also grow <laughs> right but it's divided into two parts there's a basic internet that all of us use which is which can be accessed by everybody <clears throat> and then there's one another thing called dark web right so i want to understand what is dark web and how can it be accessed because you know, there are a lot of uh, conspiracy theories videos texts and especially you get to see it in mainstream pop culture movies right <laughs> in hollywood and bollywood and every everywhere else as well that dark web is where the maximum crimes happen it's used for things which you can't do legally on normal internet so pehle to what is dark web and then how can it be accessed every single user on the internet spends majority of their time only on the dark web Okay. Why would you say so? Let's understand what it means, right? So, dark web समझने के लिए पहले ये समझते हैं clear web क्या होता है? Okay. Because उसके कारण dark web अपने आप समझ आ जाएगा. अच्छा. Clear web क्या होता है? In a very very simple way. ठीक है. So, Raj podcast. If I search on Google dot com, I will get a lot of articles, videos, everything related to what you've done, right? When that happens, Raj. that is a part of the clear web which anybody can index clear web ki size kitni badi hai minus the video only agar main text leta hu it's around 10 terabytes okay. so oh, only the text is 10 terabytes yeah okay. that's pretty that's big that's pretty big yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no pictures no i'm talking about pure text Got it. right so if you just take pure text that's 10 terabytes or ye number bhi isliye important hai and if you want we can talk more about it that's the parsing that a gpt2 gpt3 gpt4 is done of the internet hmm. in order to produce certain insights using their neural network using their transformer architecture and things happy to talk more about that if you want but coming back that is the clear web okay right what is not a part of clear web is the dark web it's as simple as that now let me ask you this question if i ask rad's emails and press and enter on google.com will i get to see your inbox of course no, not no. right if i see rad's whatsapp chats no. will i get to see that of course not so anything which the internet is not publicly displaying is dark web which in other words means that anything that you have on your inbox which you spend a lot of time on is dark web or what exactly it's dark web it's really that simple okay so that is dark web which is by the way 99% of the internet yeah so something that is private to me that's dark web that's why it's called dark web there was a meaning of dark web okay. now hold on sake i always thought dark web is a scary place where yeah i thought it would look like happen. black and stuff <laughs> like that and you'd like put some codes and then in that code you can like press a button and give an order to kill somebody with some bitcoins on it <laughs> so <laughs> that's like a dark web yeah, so, so idea that, in my head so that also happens and let's double click on that if you want i'm very happy to but that's a small portion of the dark web got it right dark web in general simply means and thing which is not parsable parsable means indexable or searchable hmm. from google.com and i'm google saying google.com in general yeah. it can be bing it can be any search any engine, search engine yeah. which is out there that's not important so that is the meaning of clear web now you understand the meaning of dark web 99.9% of the dark web is not dark in ways people think it's dark 
सो लेट मी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दैट राइट बिकॉज इट्स अ फैक्ट राइट आपके इतना सारा कॉन्टेंट आपके गूगल ड्राइव पे होगा आपके ई मेल्स पे होगा नन ऑफ दैट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द क्लियर वेब सो दैट पार्ट यू अंडरस्टूड नाउ लेट्स गो टू द पार्ट विच आई नो यूर मोर इंटरेस्टेड अबाउट विच इज अबाउट द डार्क प्लेसेज अबाउट थिंग्स सो देर इज अ वे विथ where you can basically form layers of different hops that you can make from one ip to the other to the other to the other in others you can form layers of proxies of masking your identity to then go to a final destination of a website where it becomes very difficult not impossible but very difficult for somebody on the other side when you're going to a website to track who the person is coming from a very popular way to do that there's a browser called the onion browser so you go ahead you can download that it's free of cost available and it actually goes ahead and builds these layers that's why it's called the onion browser mm. and then there are websites by the way these are very normal websites right like the way you have in the clear web websites with a.com b.in c.co.cc whatever right there can be so many different domain names which are out there exactly in the same way in the dark web there are various kinds of tlds or you know domain names and you know things which are out there a popular one which you use from the onion internet is a lot of dark web pages which is ending with dot onion okay so there's a wikipedia out there right in that wikipedia you will go in this is like the easy part which i'm saying right because it it can index mm. from there and there's a lot that happens there there can be forums now because the almost the prerequisite of getting there is because you're coming through the onion browser who where the identity of most people are very 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 difficult to trace therefore it becomes a very very free wheeling place for people to be able to chat to exchange messages to do illegal you know selling and buying of things which are out there because the identity is sealed in a very very tight way again i'm saying it's not impossible to trace it but it's very very difficult in fact there's a really nice line which says uh, in one of the movies which basically says in god we trust everything else we trace right so so and i i actually i actually quite you know i i actually think that's quite true that uh, they truly want to you know trace somebody on the internet uh most if not all cases uh, there are enough uh, footprints that that actually are there through which you can you, you can do a lot of very very good searches hmm. and understand the trail of where somebody comes from from a mobile phone from a laptop blah 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 so coming back to what i was saying is that there is these forums where you can do things right now there's this whole concept around oh can you hire a assassin can you buy drugs can you do all the wrong things there the short answer is absolutely yes right because think of it like this right if you are in a city where you know there is a place where no police ever enters right where you know people are walking around with no identity the people who have lost the nationality and they don't have a passport or they don't have an aadhar card they all stay there now there's obviously a breeding ground of doing things which are not legal and there it's a very natural thing to have a ton of those things which are but because it's there the smart police officers also go there Hmm. so you can't really differentiate between a forum which might actually be run by the interpol which might actually be run by you know m- multiple law enforcement agencies or three letter agencies which are out there and uh, you know they can all be monitoring certain things which are out there maybe you're dealing with them so it's very difficult to really get the legitimacy of that unless you spent enough time there and you understood and you see it's like anything in life it's like physical dark world which Got you would it. talk about right the underground which you talk about right and and i i think the first principles apply in the same way on both the sides uh people take that to extremes you know there are these uh funny theories like oh there's a red room where people you can pay and see people get tortured and things around that uh which is utter crap because uh the nature of how the onion internet works because you're jumping between so many layers you cannot live broadcast any video mm. so the maximum even if there is something and i've been there for a, for a while now even if there is something will be they'll give you a zoom link or a webex link 
because then they'll need to come back, come back. to the normal, normal language, which is out there because it takes a lot of bandwidth. Because remember mm. when you're bouncing between different IPs, it obviously takes the latency higher. Yeah. A uh, latency basically means delays the video let's say yeah yeah i'm talking it to the, the video. <laughs> king of videos here so yeah. yes you, you got it right so 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 because of that right uh th there's no live broadcasting that can happen there's no youtube mm. uh, that you can have in the dark web especially with the definition of that kind of dark web right mm. now the other way of looking at it is all the videos that you store on google drive is also on dark web yeah right so that's a little bit about you know just understanding where and how things are yes there are a ton of forums out there yes there'll be sections oh you want fake passports you want these arms and ammunitions you want these drugs of course there are forums out there things things which i'm pretty sure are also very legitimate a lot of times because again it's the end you can pay through bitcoins which again is not untraceable in fact bitcoin is actually the most traceable currency you will ever come across the only thing there is because there's no kyc so while it can be traced to, to, trace to the individual super easily you know this right when you do a transaction on bitcoin it stays forever you can do that five years back and i can still tell you exactly which wallet the money went to and from there where it went to the problem is not traceability in bitcoins the problem is the owner of the wallet because there's no kyc right i know there are government rules around kyc but you can easily go through outside of that and you can just make a wallet which is outside that's super simple mm. so the kyc is the problem traceability it's actually way more traceable than normal, normal currency, currency which is out yeah. there okay i want to talk uh, on cyber frauds mm -hmm. right what are the different type of frauds how can now we... that's one area where i'm not the expert in right because cyber frauds and cyber security are two fundamentally different things okay cyber frauds are jam tara mm. <laughs> remember i work with companies not individuals uh, if if i have to put it in simple words and make it more individualistic for people to understand ki cyber security se logo ko kya fark padta hai mm -hmm. what how am i getting affected by cyber security cyber frauds or cyber attacks cyber threats so there are a couple of attacks and frauds which happens can you explain us like five or six frauds sure so there are different kinds of frauds that you would call it as right because you're talking about a hack how does it matter to you as an mm, individual exactly right so let me let me just take a step back and if i just explain to you the meaning of a hack first of all right okay. again something which is not very popularly understood please right? the oxford dictionary says the meaning of a hack very simply is making something do it's not designed to do right mm. so if you use this cup to put your toothbrush and just use it as a toothbrush holder in your bathroom you just hack the cup mm. because the cup was not designed to go ahead and hold the toothbrush right but you just hack the cup that's the number one definition which you can starting okay. from the basics right or what's the meaning of a hack right using something which uh was not designed to be used that way exactly okay. that's what a hack is so bahut simple tarike se ki agar aap kuch kisi cheez ko use karte ho kisi tarike se which is not originally designed so that's 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 a that's a hack right uh let's talk about cyber hacks because that's what you were asking so cyber hacks basically would be ki किसी भी साइबर की डायमेंशन हो वेदर इट्स मोबाइल एप्स वेदर इट्स योर ईमेल अकाउंट्स वेदर इट्स योर बैंक अकाउंट्स वेदर इट्स द पासवर्ड थ्रू विच यू लॉग इन टू योर ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट डजेंट मैटर व्हाट इट इज नॉट सपोज टू बी यूज्ड एंड ऑर्डर्ड और मनी टू बी डिटेक्टेड दैट एक्सेप्ट वेन यू वॉन्टेड टू टू डू दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग समबडी एल्स इज डूइंग दैट दैट्स अ हैक So as simple as that. So you have a UPI application. मेरे पास Paytm है, right? और अगर मैं Paytm में जाके आपके account से पैसे deduct कर लूँ, and then I'm able to go ahead and I'm able to transfer that. That will be a hack. So I'm just going from first principles and just building the whole thing up of mm. you know what does a hack typically mean, right? So that's a cyber hack now what's a cyber fraud right a cyber fraud in a very simple way means that you went ahead and you said look i am authorizing something but my intent of authorization is something else while what actually happens right so sometimes you're 
parents, your grandparents will get a link which will say, oh, your pass, your account is getting blocked. You need to reset the account. Otherwise, all your money will be frozen. Mm -hmm. So click here. And the moment they click there, a lot of times money actually can potentially get transferred because they'll say, give your OTP and you give the OTP and suddenly the money went away from their account, right? That's a fraud in a very simple way. The full Netflix documentary called Jamtara. Yeah. This is all that they do, right? They con people. That's the that's the unfortunate downside of digitization, which just comes naturally with this incredible, you know, incredible uh, digital India that we've been able to build with getting in a lot of convenience, especially for payments. Uh, unfortunately, the number of frauds have also gone up. And uh, it's only solution in most, well, not the only, but I would say uh, one of the biggest solutions is awareness. The problem is, nobody teaches you. You don't teach me how to use the app on the Paytm app. You don't teach me how to use my Gmail app on the Paytm app or HDFC bank app. And that is the reason, because you don't teach me how to use it. How to use its security in a good way. That is something that you're not able to, not able to you know, comprehend. Quick question. There are two things where I am afraid, which are very basic. Mm -hmm. And this started recently when I started watching things like Jamtara mm -hmm. <laughs> and then a couple of other things. Right? Do you think <clears throat> sharing your password on public forums is... Uh, is safe. And what I mean by that is, just say airport pe Wi-Fi connect karna, right? So there is public Wi-Fi available on every airport around the world, uh, most of the airports around the world, and you use that, and they ask you for an information, they ask you for an email ID. Usually, you have one email ID, which is connected to all your bank accounts, everything and everything, Yep. right? And then they ask you for a number, they ask you for OTP, they ask you for multiple things, which, uh, do you think it's scary airport Wi-Fi using airport Wi-Fi and putting giving all your details? So the answer is it depends on what you do. I'm just using Wi-Fi. I'm just getting connected to a Wi-Fi. To do what is the question? Is it scary to use airport Wi-Fi to do a bank transaction? The answer is absolutely a yes. Is it scary to use airport Wi-Fi to read the news or watch a Twitter feed, which is already logged in? You're not logging in during that Wi-Fi session, it's already logged in, it's not scary. Okay, so I can use like Instagram, email, WhatsApp, which is logged in already. Yep. But if I log in into something, then that's scary. That is scary because there are certain kinds of attacks which are possible while you are there. Something, I'll give you an example of hmm. an attack called SSL stripping attack, which basically means in a very, very simple way is when you enter a password, in your Gmail, in your Instagram, ya aap kahi pe bhi password jab enter karte ho. Wo, aapne kabhi socha hai ki aap jo password apne phone pe type karte ho. That always goes from the phone to the Wi-Fi router. It has to go there, right? Waha se, it goes to multiple servers as hops while it finally reaches the Instagram server. So in theory, aapne jo password type kiya, and finally, when it reached Instagram server, pe pahuncha, there are multiple hops. And in the middle, wherever your password traveled through, anybody who's the administrator or the owner of that server or their router, where the packet hopped, kiya, hmm. they will be able to see your password. Hmm. But that would mean everybody can see everybody's password. Because basically what I'm saying is that means airport Wi-Fi owner can see everybody's password yeah. which is coming in. But that means everybody should be getting hacked every day. But this is not isle nahi hai because of this protocol SSL. Jo aap kabhi bhi koi website pe jate ho, to aapko top left mein HTTPS dikhta hai. Right? The HTTPS, the secured stands for SSL, which in other words, which green or red. Exactly. So, jo green hota hai, that basically means ki aapne jaise hi apna password enter kiya us website ka, wo wahi pe encrypt ho jata hai. And that decryption ki key only Instagram has. So while your password is always traveling with different hops in the middle, but the final decryption, decryption means something that I can't read, I can read, but I don't understand. It's called encryption. And to decrypt it. For example, if my password is Raj Shamani123, and then for 
जीरो वन वन बी एक्स 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 जे करके ट्रैवल करेगा आपकी भाषा में अगर मैं ज़्यादा उसे आसानी से समझाऊं अगर मैं आपसे फ्रेंच में बात करने लगूँ अभी That is encrypted, mm-hmm. right? It. उसकी meaning so जरूर है। the... उसके लिए जिसे French आता है, वो उसे decrypt कर सकते हैं। यहाँ पे what happens is that when it's encrypted already in your system, in between जितने भी hops हैं, वो सारे के सारे hops will not be able to see hmm. कि आपका encryption हुआ कैसे और कहाँ पे, so, right? Actually कहाँ पे पता होता है? But कैसे हुआ? वो Nobody नहीं पता होता है कि protocol पता होता है, key पता नहीं होती है। एग्जैक्टली exactly उसी तरीके से आप अगर एक वाईफाई होस्ट कर रहे हो चाहे अपने घर पे चाहे एयरपोर्ट पे आप एक अटैक कर सकते हो जिसे कहते हैं एस एस एल स्ट्रिपिंग अटैक जहाँ पे आपके फोन पे आप फिर भी पासवर्ड एंटर करोगे और वो फिर भी इनक्रिप्ट होगा पर वो इंस्टाग्राम के एस एस एल प्रोटोकॉल के साथ इनक्रिप्ट होने के जगह मैं जिस एस एस एल प्रोटोकॉल को होस्ट कर रहा हूँ उससे इनक्रिप्ट होगा एंड सबसे पहला हॉप क्योंकि एयरपोर्ट के वाईफाई राउटर पे होगा मैं उसे डिक्रिप्ट कर सकता हूँ तो मैं पासवर्ड देख सकता हूँ और उसके बाद मैं उसे वापस से इनक्रिप्ट कर दूंगा जो इंस्टाग्राम का प्रोटोकॉल है उससे और फिर इंस्टाग्राम पे भेज दूंगा सो so, आपको पता भी नहीं चलेगा कि आपका पास पासवर्ड मैंने बीच में आके इसे कहते हैं मैन इन द मिडल अटैक इस कारण मेरा रिकमेंडेशन ये होता है इंस्टेड ऑफ पुटिंग द पासवर्ड इट्स बेटर कि अगर आप ऑलरेडी लॉकड इन हो तो अब उसमें भी कुछ होती है चीजें जैसे कुकी इन परसनेशन एंड दैट्स आई एम सेइंग देयर इज नो फुल प्रूफ वे राइट द द द ओनली थिंग देयर इज दैट इट्स इट्स रेकमेंडेड दैट यू डोंट लॉग इन स्पेशली इन योर बैंक अकाउंट्स एंड थिंग्स अराउंड दैट व्हिच आर वेरी सेंसिटिव बट अगर आप कुछ यूज कर रहे हो इकोनॉमिक टाइम्स न्यूयॉर्क टाइम्स पढ़ने के लिए आपके ट्विटर फीड देखने के लिए व्हिच इज नॉट वेरी वेरी सेंसिटिव आई आई थिंक दैट्स टोटली फाइन सो लॉगिंग इन इज अ प्रॉब्लम ऑन पब्लिक वाईफाई इज लाइक एयरपोर्ट Rest. or even home Hotels. or any any places absolutely hotel wifi especially lounges thing. because airport wifi is zyada attractive target for hackers are airport lounges especially you know emirates first class lounge uh is like the perfect target ek bhi nikal gaya to hacker ka saal ban jayega pura saal ki income ek ek hack se nikal sakti hai you got it so that's exactly the point yeah, so the 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 more luxurious the hotel is, the more the chances <laughs> the are. suite of the hotel yeah. and uh, and and uh, guys logging in Oyo's please <laughs> don't log in in JW Marriott <laughs> <laughs> you got it <laughs> all right and is it a is it a problem if we keep our Bluetooth on or AirDrop on all the time कुछ होता है से कुछ फर्क पड़ता है Bluetooth में और इन फैक्ट वाई फाई भी सो फुल टाइम वाई फाई ऑन रखना एयर ड्रॉप ऑन करना या ब्लूटूथ ऑन रखना सो कपल ऑफ पॉइंट देर नॉट इज केयर यू अलॉट बट द रियालिटी इज दैट आई कैन हैक इन टू योर लैपटॉप और योर कंप्यूटर विदाउट यू डूइंग एनी थिंग एंड विदाउट यू इवन बींग कनेक्टेड टू वाई फाई हाउ इफ आई एम जस्ट अराउंड यू और इवन जस्ट अराउंड यू Right. If I'm in a proximity of a few meters from you, so let's say you're sitting right now here. Okay. I can I can get into your system, dependent on a couple of factors, and let me talk about that. So since you mentioned Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and NFC and things around that, so I'm just clubbing all of them into one attack, and I'm giving an example of an attack. Right. So, कभी आपने ये notice किया? आप जब अपना laptop खोलते हो, किसी cafe पे जाके आप laptop खोलते हो, जो आप हमेशा जाते हो. कैन आई से आपका लैपटॉप अपने आप उस कैफे के वाईफाई से कनेक्ट हो जाता है yeah. आपने एक बार कनेक्ट किया नेक्स्ट टाइम आप गए इट ऑटोमेटिकली कनेक्ट देर आपका घर का वाईफाई इज द सेम थिंग वेन यू ओपन योर लैपटॉप इट ऑटोमेटिकली कनेक्ट आपका ऑफिस का वाईफाई इज द सेम थिंग थिंक अबाउट इट क्या आपके लैपटॉप को पता है कि आप कैफे में बैठे हो ऑफिस में बैठे हो या घर पे बैठे हो नो वाई फाई है वाई से कनेक्ट कर लिया करेक्ट बट लैपटॉप को कैसे पता कौन से वाई से कनेक्ट करना है जो जो जिस इसको परमिशन दे रखी सारे वही ना एग्जैक्टली व्हाट द लैपटॉप डज इज जब आप लैपटॉप खोलते हो उस टाइम आपके पास एक सेट ऑफ सेव्ड वाईफाई नेटवर्क्स होता है सारे नोन नोन नेटवर्क्स जिसमें आपने कनेक्ट कर रखा है पहले एंड बाय डिफॉल्ट सेटिंग ये होती है मोस्ट लैपटॉप्स की कि आप एक बार कनेक्ट करो तो वो सेव कर लेता है उस नेटवर्क को आप जैसे ही अपने लैपटॉप को खोलते हो वो लैपटॉप अपने आप नोन नेटवर्कस को ढूंढने लगता है It says, "Are you there? Are you there? Rajshmani house, Rajshmani work, cafe aroma Wi-Fi, 
right? It automatically starts searching for all of them. Same with phones. Same things, right? So it's basically the same protocol which is being used. The moment that happens, I can be sitting next to you. I can be listening. Because search करने के लिए it sends out packets hmm. to see कि look, are you there? Are you there? Are you there? I can be sitting right next to you, and I will hear a packet coming from your laptop saying, "Are you Raj Shamani home? Are you Raj Shamani work?" And I'm like, "Hmm, yes, I am. <laughs> right? <laughs> so I am Raj Shamani home. Oh, very good. I know your password. Okay, tell me your password. This is your password. Okay, looks like the right password. I will allow you to connect to me." So before you knowing, your laptop can connect to my laptop, and without you knowing, you are on my network just by opening the lid of your laptop. And the way networks are designed, I might be sitting in your office. So by default, your laptop connects to that particular Wi-Fi router which has the strongest connection. Mm-hmm. So अगर मैं आपके राइट नेक्स्ट डोर बैठा हुआ हूँ या नेक्स्ट आपके नेक्स्ट चेयर पे बैठा हुआ हूँ एंड आई विल हैव अ वाई फाई डोंगल जिससे कि मैं एक फेक नेटवर्क ब्रॉडकास्ट कर रहा हूँ सो वाई योर ऑफिस वाई फाई और होम वाई फाई विल स्टिल बी देयर बट दैट विल बी दैट विल बी समथिंग विच इज फर्दर अवे फ्रॉम यू सो उसका रिसेप्शन विल नॉट बी एज स्ट्रॉन्ग एज माइंड सो वाई यू माइट बी कनेक्टेड टू दैट इन द पास्ट आई कैन स्टिल Take over that. It's very easy to jam Wi-Fi. All you have to do is broadcast these packets in the same frequency, and it's super easy to create a jammer. Uh, so, so the moment I do that, I can see what you're searching for. I can again. I'm dumbing this down. Yeah, right? so yeah. I'm just trying to. I can happy to deep dive into it because no, 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 it I'm, depends on the kinds of Wi-Fi protocols. And there's WEP, WPA, WPA2, and then there's a. So there are a ton of things you can do for the security of this. But I'm just simplifying this to say what is the art of possible, and still not. Totally keeping it high level. I'm trying to just give at least some flavor of you know what's really going on. So I can fake my Wi-Fi hotspot to make it look like something that's already saved. आपके फोन पे आपके लैपटॉप पे और आपका लैपटॉप इमीडिएटली कनेक्ट हो जाता है मेरे सिस्टम से. The moment you're connected to my system, now I have a simple bridge through which I can talk to your laptop. Hmm. Now, अब आपका लैपटॉप कोई पर्टिकुलर एप्लीकेशन चला रहा है या कोई ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम चला रहा है विच आई नो दी एक्सप्लॉयट ऑफ आई कैन जस्ट गेट इन टू योर सिस्टम स्टील फाइल्स आई कैन सी योर वेब कैमरा आई कैन लिसन टू योर माइक्रोफोन आई कैन सी योर ब्राउजिंग हिस्ट्री आई कैन प्रिटी मच डू एनीथिंग आई वॉन्ट ओके अनादर क्वेश्चन कीपिंग लोकेशन ऑन ऑल द टाइम ऑन योर फोन डू यू थिंक दैट सेफ अलॉट ऑफ पीपल जस्ट इनेबल लोकेशन एंड देन So there are a couple of points there. The first piece is locations being on all the time is not as dangerous as allowing apps to access location all the time. Okay. So there's when I open an application, it asks me three three questions. Do not allow the app to access the location. Allow when the app is open and allow the app all the time. Yeah. So obviously the second one, and second one, kahi pe zaruri bhi hota hai, right? If you're using Uber, right? That's you, important. Yeah. I mean, how but I should not allow it? Uber to use my location all the time. Exactly, and it's not the problem with Uber. Just cut design. Is for location. Although we can talk more about that, right? There used to be. If you actually see, there are files about Uber and how crazy. Uber was tracking people. You know, the there used to be. Hacks, yeah. Do you know the 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 thing they used to call the Roger ride? Do you know what the Roger rider was? Uh, so this was, I think, the full form was Romeo uh, going for something something where they figured that if there is a a a Uber rider or you know somebody who's using Uber who between say. 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. takes an Uber from a location and goes to a particular location, and exactly after say 60 minutes or 90 minutes, come back to the same exact location with that same pattern being repeated every day or every week or a particular day of every week. They knew that the person is actually going and doing some wrong things, either with a person or doing something something illegal or whatever. And uh, they used to call these. rides of glory i think that was the 
that that was that was the the Roger. So okay. they actually used to track people. This is like a full fledged mm. case study, and people can go through that. It, I think it was the Uber files where all of this came mm. out because so even Uber you. You don't have to let them, but it, I'll tell you a trivia about you, Uber. You can actually use Uber without allowing them to access the location because you can just enter manually what exact location it is. But I know it's inconvenient, so mm -hmm. probably you won't use that. But the problem is when you've downloaded a, you know, um, a, you know, a, a makeup app or a app of, you know, recording something, right? Which is some stupid app made by some developer who's, who's, who's basically, whose only job is to mine data. And you allow them with location, them the with time. your 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 microphone access twenty four hours and things around that. That can be pretty intrusive, and uh, you would not realize that. Just phones sitting on your table might be recording every word that you're speaking, and uh, it can be pretty scary. You know, you said in the beginning that you don't study a lot of uh, individual attacks or security. You study a lot of organization and stuff. There's one question I have that. Uh, how do these terrorist organizations run their internet? Because you said most of the things on internet can be traced and these guys are not being traced very easily and they have their own ways to maybe send threats, use it, use a couple of things, get money, send money, buy things, sell things, right? How do they use, how terrorists are so efficient and so good at not getting traced? Let me make that more scary. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You've gone very, very far away when you talk about terrorists. Mm -hmm. For a second, forget about terrorists. If a, if a bank heist happens mm -hmm. or a physical crime happens, mm -hmm. how many times did you, do you hear this was a physical crime that somebody committed and in the next few weeks they got caught? Can I say that happens a lot of times? Right, no. bank got robbed, somebody got murdered, whatever, whatever, yeah. whatever. And then, somebody, the, and then the culprit got caught. Yeah. Can I say you yeah. hear that all the time? Yeah, yeah. That yeah. person tried to escape the jail, but they were caught at the, some yes, point or yes. whatever. You that keep hearing this, yeah, all the time, right? How many hacks do you hear about? Many companies get hacked all the time, right? Yep. Especially in the recent past, just like a explosion the of Zilin, yeah. How many articles have you read that a hacker was caught? Few, <laughs> few, only few. <laughs> <laughs> and and take my word for it, most of the articles which will say a hacker was caused mm. was probably not a hacker. It was a fraudster like Jamtara or something, which is not truly a hacker. Like there's a difference between a fraudster I, I, like a smart. I, I, yeah, it's like I'm trying to. I don't want to degrade hackers. <laughs> like, you, know, you know, there are levels, right? You got to like, there's a code, there's a there's an honor. <laughs> so, yeah, all right, all know, right. So, sorry, I'm just talking about badges of honors here. So, you know, there's always like one star general, two star general, three star general, right? So I'm trying to put the hmm. hacker white up there, right? Somebody trying to do a fraud for a thousand rupees. I'm like, yeah, I mean, so a lot of those people get caught, <laughs> right? Who will fraud you for Beam and Paytm and payment apps, but yeah. they're not really hackers, I would say, like in true sense. The reason I say that, right, Raj, is because uh, the reality is in most cases, it is so easy. I can be sitting right in front of you, and when I access your computer, I can be bouncing between 25 countries to reach your laptop from my laptop. 25 countries. So I won't be able to trace you. No, that's the problem. And these countries can be anything. North Korea, Pakistan, there's crazy countries, right? Iraq, et cetera, et cetera. So even if you are a very, very influential person, uh, it's very, very difficult to go ahead and truly trace the people. As I said, it's not impossible, but it is very, very difficult. And that's the reason why and it's so easily available on the internet to mask your identity that most of the smart hackers, mm. uh, it's it's extremely difficult to really catch them because uh, it's just so easy to go ahead and truly just mask. So you went very far with terrorists. I'm even talking about non-terrorist yes. organizations, which are just normal cyber criminals, right? So basic question on that. You just said that the heist will happen or like these kind of things happen, right? Let's say if a bank gets attacked and gets hacked. Few of the accounts, they lose money. A, do you think the banks will pay money, the banks do pay money to normal people? 
like let's say if you and me have an account in xyz bank and our money gets stolen by some other person right do you think banks will pay that money to us that is first and second is do you think that they can trace and they can find these people because so, you just said that it's very difficult if someone smart enough they can steal something from bank which is not easy it'd be difficult because i'm uh i'm assuming and i'm hopeful that banks will have like a great cyber security like safe and 20 other things as well <laughs> <laughs> so yeah but uh, if i get hacked my bank account gets hacked do you think it's bank's responsibility to pay us or no there's no rule for that yeah so short answer in india specifically yeah short answer in india the banks if they get hacked on their side without your flaw in other mm. words if you gave your otp to somebody mm. and they did a transaction right bank is not liable just to be very clear okay so matlab right. kisi ne mujhe fraud kiya Haan. agar usne mujhe otp liya mera card liya aur paise chale gaye to bank is not liable bank is not liable however bank is still happy to help you so when the money is gone if you report that within the first 48 hours to the bank depending on the medium which was used etc cetera, etc cetera, there is still ways to get that money back so that way it's it's really good but on the other side you didn't report it for many many weeks the money is already gone bank is absolutely not liable because ye aapki galti thi ki aapne apna otp kisi ko share kiya which it was not supposed to be done hmm. but on the other side if the bank gets hacked directly Hmm. and a hacker gets into the bank a bank has billions of dollars they stole a billion dollars whatever that was right will that be something that affects you the answer is no absolutely not that is bank's responsibility but isn't like bank is only liable to pay you like 5 lakhs uh only if you go ahead that's the insured part of your your, your actual hmm. bank account which is out there again i'm not the super subject matter expert of the fraud side of things as you as as we discussed in the beginning but what i can tell you is it is not responsible if you shared the otp if it was a fault on your side however if the bank goes down the insurance might be 5 lakh rupees that you get but this is where the government can step in this is where every bank actually has a particular fund that it's that it actually always has to keep in its kitty that if everything goes wrong because it can be a physical yeah big heist also right it can be like the main treasury where all the money was stored got burned down got fire whatever right so the point i'm trying to make is that there absolutely can be things i mean in the us the silicon valley went down and that was literally a matter of 24 hours all of our money was stuck in the silicon valley bank right and uh and 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 the government of the united states stepped in and we got back 100% of our money right so what i'm and it was not a hack it was just you know multiple reasons why that happened so the point i'm trying to make there is just one that as you keep moving forward uh i would i would just say that look that's the now the only thing which people should realize is having worked with regulators across the globe i can tell you reserve bank of india is one of the most incredible and one of the most strictest uh you know regulators which are out there a, they they implemented two factor authentication at a time when nobody in the west implemented that because of that a lot of fraud came down right they implemented the chip and pin on your credit cards and debit cards which is not implemented even today yeah in a lot of european countries right so what i'm trying to get towards is that rbi is one of the key reasons why we've not seen systematic failures of banks especially with this big digital revolution but i think they've done a phenomenal job of not only being very liberal with npci and all the incredible stuff that we've done and india is miles ahead miles than any country on the planet except china maybe and that's for different reasons they're not a democracy easy to get certain things from the government but except china when it comes to true payments and true payment revolution which is out there that has driven that too from the government so it's done extremely well rbi from being very liberal from a perspective of being very innovative rethinking the payments landscape at the same time being very very strict about the regulations what comes at the at the cost of being liberal in terms of uh, you know being 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 more very strict and particular about the security and safety of end consumers well there are a lot of things that we learned from you today thank you so much for spending time and walking us through 
the culture, the ways of entrepreneurship, cyber attacks, dark web, <laughs> and five thousand other things as well. It's an honor to be here with you. Thank you so much for having me here, and uh, you know, great conversation. Thank you so much. I just hope you haven't hacked any of our Wi-Fi's and phone by the time. Oh, that, that's where I started. That's why all the questions I knew about. That's how I prepared. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. ये episode end तक देखने के लिए. प्लीज हमें कमेंट्स में बताइए कि और कौन से से गेस्ट हैं जो आप देखना चाहते हैं इस पॉडकास्ट पर ताकि हम उन्हें लाएं और आप ही के सवाल उनसे पूछें ताकि आपको और भी ज़्यादा वैल्यू मिले जाने से पहले ये एपिसोड किसी एक इंसान के साथ ज़रूर शेयर करना जिसकी लाइफ में इससे एक पॉजिटिव चेंज आएगा उन्हें कुछ लाइफ में सीखने को मिलेगा और आगे बढ़ने का रास्ता दिखेगा क्योंकि एक कॉन्वर्जेशन किसी की पूरी लाइफ चेंज कर सकता है उन्हें आगे बढ़ने का रास्ता दिखा सकता है एंड उन्हें बहुत सारे आइडियाज़ दे सकता है सो so प्लीज़ ये एपिसोड किसी एक इंसान के साथ शेयर कीजिए जिनको आपको लगता है कि उनकी लाइफ में एक बेटर चेंज आएगा आल सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम अंटिल देन कीप फिगरिंग आउट एंड डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल